Another steroid scandal rocking the Bay Area this week. On the heels of Melky Cabrera being suspended 50 games from the Giants, Oakland pitcher Bartolo Colon has also been suspended 50 games. Besides missing the rest of the regular season, the former Cy Young winner will also lose as much as 850 k in salary, possibly even more with bonuses. Our sports analyst Marty Lentz joining me once again. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Talking the same same topic, different team, I guess. What huh? is this, a week ago? I mean, I'm <laughs> telling you, if, you know, two important players, two Bay Area teams, a couple of suspensions. Just coincidence or is uh, baseball cracking down all of a sudden? Well, a coincidence or that both. both these guys are based here. Mm -hmm. Though, mm -hmm. I, you know, people that have the memory, they think of Balco and they think of Victor Conti, who, by the way, has been making the media rounds as well talking about this. Uh, baseball testing is better but they're complicit. Major League Baseball, it's the culture of Major League Baseball like we talked about last week. Uh, I do believe more people are doing it. The tests are better, but uh, I've heard Victor Conti and other people say there are better tests out there that could really hone in and fix it. But I don't think Major League Baseball wants to because again, people want to see runs, put fannies in the seats, they love home runs, everything like that. And when you lose players like that, you potentially lose fans and you lose revenue and they see that. So there's no will, if you will, for Major League Baseball because you could also develop tests, but that takes science and takes research and they don't want to invest that kind of money. They just borrow something like whatever they do in the Olympics and say, you know, we'll, we'll take those because the, the, the athletes have access to the same kinds of the newest, latest drugs which are continually evolving. Right. So the Olympic Committee has all these tests that are continually evolving. Could Major League Baseball go, look, we, we're not going to put the money into the science. Can we work something out where we take the tests that you have? Here's the big difference. Baseball's got the most powerful union players union most powerful union period of anybody on the face of the earth I think that's the other thing that you have I think the players are pretty shielded and protected Ryan Braun of the Milwaukee Brewers I guarantee you probably had the same thing that Melky Cabrera had but remember there was some mishandling almost sounds OJ ish if you will mishandling of the evidence and so he was exonerated to some degree because of that because I mishandled it so but he continues on and he's playing and I'm not saying he did anything but also it's because he has a heck of a union that has his back and these unions are very very tough so I think that's the other piece of it so so, so the players are complicit in that 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 they're I don't the union you know covers their backsides if you will too much but the owners aren't you know I think vociferous enough and really trying to investigate and weed it out they just aren't there's there's too much money I hate to say too much money on the table that's why I'm saying it's the culture of the sport let's talk a little bit about specifically what this is going to mean for the A's loss of him for the rest of the season and and in the A's case now because it's a few uh, 10 days later or whatever 10 games into the potential playoffs for right. the A's. Talk about what this means for them. They're they're in the hunt there for the wild card, at least for now, but now they lose one of their, you know, main pitchers. Well, it's he's, you know, Bartello Colon was, you know, had the most wins, eaten up a lot of innings, great ERA. Uh, the one thing, though, is he's, he's not an everyday player. Uh, the A's are bringing up a Tyler Ross, who kind of struggled the first time he was up, uh, you know, with the big club, but, you know, did pretty good at Sacramento, and I believe it's Brent Anderson that they're starting to rehab and get back in. They don't want to have to rush him in, but I, I I think you're going to start seeing him, you know, they're going to try to start, you know, squeezing him and putting him in. You know, the good thing about the A's is they've got some pretty good pitchers. And again, being that Cologne is not an everyday player, you only maybe miss him on that fourth or fifth day. So that's maybe where there's a bit of a saving grace. Now, if the A's make the playoffs, I don't know what kind of shape he's going to be in if they get to that point. I, you know, is he going to is he going to have enough uh, conditioning, if you will, to, to be on the roster? That's that's something that remains to be seen, assuming the A's get that far. depend on what he does as he, he hopefully stays in shape right. for the fact that he gets back. And we've reported that Cologne had ties to a reputed steroid provider, a personal trainer named Angel Pres uh, Presinal. No link has been found between these two in this particular case, but that trainer uh, was banned from Major League Clubhouses uh, baseball. I think it was back in 2005. He was associated with Juan Gonzalez. Right. That was the issue. So, again, this gets back to it. I, you know, you don't want to accuse people of things that, that, that aren't factual at this point, but the idea that somebody like that is still hanging around, and here we see it again, Maybe that gets to the policing of this in the, in the in the first place, as you mentioned, is their will to take everybody out, not only the testing and the drugs, but the people associated with it. Well, and that's the other point too. You've got to be careful who you associate yourself with. I mean, it is it, you know perception is reality, and these players they have handlers, they have uh, uh, you know managers, money managers, they have agents. They've got to know that they're taking the risk, but they're willing to take it because again, we get back to the main core. 
tons of money on the table and 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 guys are always looking to get an edge so so they're willing to 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 take this risk and i mean this isn't the first time that bartolo Colon has he himself uh you know been out there if you want to say uh you know maybe being you know being somewhat suspicious of doing something to enhance his performance let's just talk about what this means for the game and this comes up every time it came back during the barry bonds time it came up uh, any number of players that have had to go before congress and all people start talking about what it does to the sport itself and all of a sudden you have a player who's suddenly doing really well and instantly instead of saying hey that guy's playing a heck of a season you're going hey I wonder if that guy's yeah. you know using steroids or something and in that s sense it kind of degrades the game and the character of some of the players who are clean well it does but then again I say th that should fall on the players they should do a better job and their and their uh, union should do a better job if you want to say ferreting out the bad guys that make it bad for everybody else because you're right it is there's always going to be that suspicion you look and say boy he but but uh, the other way you have a look at it too is usually the numbers don't lie if there's a certain amount of consistency you can see you know we I go back to Brady Anderson from what a decade ago with the Orioles he was a pretty marginal player but then had that one year 51 home runs people say you don't go from this level to this level and shoot up so much this is major league baseball it's you, you don't make that kind of a change so you have the ability to look at statistics and numbers to see and maybe have a have a maybe an eyeball view of it to see I do find it a bit of an oddity still for pitchers that want to do performance enhancing drugs but the key with the testosterone it makes sense if you're a everyday player and batting because of the twitch fiber and it gives you power but it's the recovery ability that taking these drugs do and if you are a pitcher and you're out there throwing 100 130 pitches a game it allows you to recover quicker and that's why these people take it because people always ask me why are pitchers taking it they don't need strength but it's the recovery factor that they heal quicker and that's what the advantage that they get from that very good marty lance always good to talk a little bit of baseball and sports with you thanks for coming by glad to be here all right